My name is P. Free, and this is my video story. I always felt strange, different than other people. Living in a small town in southern eastern Ontario, there wasn't much opportunity for a young man to make a living. All my friends were flocking out west to make their fortunes, and I wanted to make mine. I was 16 when I left home to work on the railroad. I felt guilty for leaving the farm that I had worked on for so long. Mr. Stevenson had taken me in when I was eight because my folks couldn't afford to feed me. My father got sick. Some people say that he was crazy, but I don't think so. I think it was something he ate or drank. He was always buying remedies, cure-alls, and snake oil. He used to smoke tobacco out of an old chewed up wooden pipe. Sometimes he would go out for a walk and wouldn't come home for days. I asked him where he went, but he would never, he could never remember. Other times he would come home for, 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 he wouldn't come home for months. My mother died of loneliness. I began to have strange dreams and wild dreams. I couldn't get them out of my mind. Pacing back and forth, I began to lose my powers of concentration. I felt like I was going crazy. I thought to myself, what if I leave and make myself a new life, a new dream? Later, my dream became a nightmare. It was hard to tell whether I was running away from something or running towards something. Later, I discovered I was running away from myself. I think I put myself here on purpose so that I wouldn't have to listen to that noise in my head, that voice of conspiracy that quiets with every step. I'm a trader of thoughts, one for another, always an argument. But out of the blue came a calm and easy compromise.